take a look at the three parallelograms that are shown on the grid. And what you see is that each of them have two sides that are three units long and two sides that are seven units long. Go ahead and mark each of those uh, lengths on those figures. You see the three units listed, but the seven is not. When you look, though, they're getting shorter and, and longer, and, and it looks like the area is changing, even though the side lengths are the same. So it's like you're pushing on the upper left corner and just sort of tilting it over a little bit. Go ahead and pause the video and use the, the additivity and moving principles to determine the area of each of these. Don't just count different uh, units that are on there. What you want to do is uh, use what you know already for additivity and moving and determine what each of those areas are. Go ahead and do that. Hit pause, then come back. All right, so what you've done so far is you marked each of them. This guy has, he's seven wide, he's three tall. This guy has seven units wide, seven units wide. When you use the moving and additivity, the first one, you don't have to do that because we are a rectangle and the area is going to equal that seven units times the three units. So it's going to give you 21 units squared. And that's uh, because that parallelogram is a rectangle. Now, for the next guy, we're going to have to move him and move some part of him. So let's go ahead and cut this off here and take that and move it over to here. When you move that, you now see that you have a rectangle that is 7 by 2. So the area is 7 by 2, which is 14 units squared. Well, he's a little longer, a little shorter, and has less area. We can use that same uh, principle where we're going to take and cut this off, and we're going to move it over here to fill that in. And this is one unit tall. And when you find his area, the area is 7 by 1, which is 7 units squared. And so as this uh, parallelogram got shorter and longer, his area got smaller. So the answer to question A is, well, A is us moving it. B is that no, area is not going to be the base times the leg. That as we can see that we've got that same base and leg size on all three of them, and we found three samples where the area is different. So instead, what we have to look at, and what we wrote up above here for each of these, here is base, here is height, here is base, here is height, base and height. And so our area formula for a parallelogram, if this is the height, so the area is going to be the base times the height, where this is the base length, and the height is how tall each of them are.